Hello, this is Hakadabina. I am here with SCP-134, also known as the Star-Eyed Child. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, or we'll comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you do not like the video, then please don't waste however long this video is watching it, because that seems like a waste of your time and mine. Let's get into this. I have number SCP-134. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-134 is currently contained within a specially outfitted humanoid containment cell measuring 6 meters by 8 meters. Since SCP-134 is completely blind, special safety precautions must be taken with the room's furnishings. SCP-134 is reasonably it accustomed to the positions of all objects in the cell and navigates mostly from memory. SCP-134's room currently contains one single bed with additional mattress padding, one pink bed set, including sheet, comforter, and pillow with Hello Kitty mascot print. Note, though blind, SCP-134 is able to feel the print pattern and prefers it. One wardrobe and one chest of drawers. Containing clothes in youth extra small, all drawers are labeled in braille and raised for in English. One dollhouse with dolls and interior furnishings. Eight stuffed animals, three cats, two dogs, a giraffe, a dolphin, and a panda. A selection of children's literature in braille. One chair and one table. A craft station with modeling clay and building blocks. SCP-134 may request additional items, all of which must be approved by staff by staff member with level 3 clearance or higher. If any items are added to the room, SCP-134's handlers must be informed ahead of time to prepare her for the additional for the addition of something new to the environment. SCP-134 is tutored on a regular basis, both in general education, appropriate for subjects age, and in braille. <sighs> Description SCP-134 seems to be an, age, an Asian girl between the ages of uh, blank and blank, with short black hair and a, and a slight build. The subject seems normal in most respects and has all the biological requirements of a human child, food, sleep, etc. However, where SCP-134's eyes should be are two black pits covered by a transparent membrane similar in appearance to a human's eye membrane. Ophthalmological testing has shown that the membranes are between 150 and 200 times more resilient than those of normal or non-anomalous humans. SCP-134 lacks eyelids and thus does not blink, nor can SCP-134 see anything through those black like areas. Attempts to examine the back of SCP-134's eyeball have failed. Also, no retina can be seen in a normal lighting condition, they appear completely black, but in darkness, very faint lights have been seen within them. First study, along with long exposure photography and light application, revealed that the lights are actually stars and galaxies. Visible as SCP 134's eye sockets are somehow looking out into deep space. To date, no astronaut. Medical formations have been recognized, though research by Isaac Astronomer Dr. Blank is ongoing. Sonar examinations revealed no unusual cavities within SCP-134 or skull. However, data expunged, confirming the presence of data expunge. Isaac is being the local termini and intergalactic space being the remote termini. Parallax measurements indicate that the remote termini are between 20 and 2,000 meters apart, and I'm moving at between 20 and 40 times the speed of light. This does not appear to be linked to SCP-134's position, movement, or metabolism. Spectrographic analysis indicates that the remote of Termini period is that expunged new location. The cause of this is yet, not yet known. The shortest interval measured between shifts was six days, while the longest was five weeks. As of yet, no termini shifts have been observed in progress. 
SCP-134 has not shown any hostile behavior and seems unaware of any unnatural condition. SCP-134 shows the behavioral symptoms similar to those seen in high-functioning in autistic children, including pattern behavior and resistance to change. As such, SCP-134 has been assigned a childhood development specialist to help work with these issues. And they aren't really issues. I also have... Never mind. The specialist has suggested that proper childhood development requires a personal name. It has nicknamed SCP-134 Stella. You have told me that before. Stella has learned to associate being referred to by her SCP number or, or with being subjected to physical S and becomes upset and less cooperative when this is done by individuals who have previously referred to her as Stella. Consequently, first of all, urge not, do not refer to her by name unless they wish their interactions with Stella to be limited to interview sessions. My bad. When a question about her eyes, as Stella claims no knowledge of any deformation, even when allowed to fill normal human eyes for comparison. Stella has to date volunteered no information about parentage or identity, though when acquired by the Foundation, Stella was called a blank. Stella has proven docile and cooperative, and as such, staff should display all the normal courtesy they would to any other guest. Stella has was taken into Foundation custody based on reports of a deformed child left at the Blank Orphanage in Blank, Yokohama, Japan. Stella has been in Foundation and custody since 20 Blank, at which time a morphed sash have claimed that Stella was Blank years old. Since then, Stella has learned conversational English in addition to the Japanese already known, and has demonstrated facility with Braille, though instruction is ongoing. Anyway, that was SCP-134, also known as Stella the Star-Eyed Child. And as you might have noticed, I did not know her name until they said in the document, which is pretty common for me. Anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if you did not like the video, then why the heck are you here? It's been seven and a half minutes, almost eight minutes now. You shouldn't be watching videos that you don't like. I already told you, if you didn't like it, you shouldn't waste your time. Look at that, you wasted your time. Thanks. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.